Good morning, Larry. Now, the mayor told city council that he had a change of heart and didn't believe that the mandate was necessary. But councilors' votes show that they agreed with the mayor. The vote happened last night where city councilors voted five to four, saying no to requiring masks in the public. This comes after the Illinois Department of Public Health announced more than 12,500 new cases of coronavirus were reported in the state with 125 dying from the virus. DuPage County has seen more than 790 deaths during this pandemic. The city is also seeing another spotlight on its mayor after he attended his daughter's wedding in Florida last month. That trip changed his mind on his ideas of a mask mandate. Here's what he had to say. I didn't run for mayor to impose restrictive mandates on our community and in our citizens daily lives. And now having just visited the state with an open economy and no mask mat mandate, I have witnessed firsthand that re less regulation can be just as safe and lead to better results. And for that reason, I don't believe the mask mandate is a wise public policy that should be institution is instituted in Naperville at this time. We asked Northwestern University's infectious disease professor, Dr. Robert Murphy, about Naperville city councilors voting down the mandate. He says he's against it. The indisputable fact that masks help and will save people's lives. The, the, anyone that refuses a mask mandate, I mean, this is this is like a total incompetence. There has to be some teeth in, in whatever law comes out to force the mask mandate. It has to be mandated. They have to they have to do it. Now the mayor did say that a mask mandate is better regulated on a state and national level. However, the city councilors did vote in favor of encouraging people to wear their mask in public. For now we're live in Naperville and Glen Marshall, WGN News.